everyone so here uh, i told you related to uh, the loan activities of banks there are uh, some uh, features related to loan activities of banks how they do the loan activities okay um, lena can you tell uh, how much percentage they have to keep as a reserve with the bank how much percentage it's not a permanent one but according to your textbook they have given some amount of percentage is it 6 no one wait wait yeah what is that lena okay shania answer 15 percentage 15 percentage it is 15 okay 15 percent we have to keep as a reserve with the bank now why do they keep this elsa why do they keep this reserve money with them elsa ma'am course when other other borrowers came to buy money what is that the other other borrowers is it for borrowers is it for depositors. borrowers okay if it is not borrowers then it is for depositors correct <laughs> it's like that right okay now said said yes ma'am yes for what purpose they keep that reserve with them why do they keep that reserve with them said banks keep some reserve with them for what purpose why they can't give all the depositors loans what is the reason for that said do you know uh no yes or no 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 okay Sorry. revu do you know no i can repeat the question why why the banks are keeping some reserve with them why can't they give see out of deposit some amount of money the banks keep with them why do they keep that what is the reason revu do you know uh, no okay raya what about you any idea depositors come to withdraw the money to give them okay if the depositors come to withdraw the money they should provide some uh, amount of money to the depositors they can't say no okay so for emergency reasons they keep some amount of money with themselves because at any time the depositors can come to withdraw the money okay that, this is one point another one i told you what is the income of uh, bank how the bank gets its income Okay, uh, Justin, can you tell how the banks gets its income? Justin. Um. Hmm. I told you we have to find some difference. Then we'll uh, get the income. We'll come to know how much. In, uh, I mean, how the bank is getting some income or profit. Okay, Sri Hari, do you know? <clears throat> from interest rate from Man, the interest rate but how how it is when they charge more interest rate for um, from, from the borrowers, borrowers when they pay back and they give okay. a lesser okay. interest to the less interest less of will depositor. be paid to the depositor so, so the difference, difference between difference will be there uh, will hmm, be there income revenue income of the bank okay so these are the few things which i told you related to uh, the loan activities now loan is also known as a credit okay so loan is also known as credit in the sense uh, when we uh, say credit that has the same meaning as loan loan very easy to understand for us you take money from others that is considered as a loan the same way credit when we say the same it means the same that is just one minute that is loan okay credit means loan here there is a definition they have given in your textbook it is compulsory you should learn about it okay what is that okay credit or loan what do you mean by that it involves three points in that okay what all points actually it refers to it is an agreement between in which the lender supplies the borrower 
okay what is that first point it is an agreement between whom the lender and the borrower in in which the lender supplies with money it can be money it can be goods or it can be services this is the second thing and in that they are keeping one more provision they it should be paid in a in future or it should be returned in future so three things are involved in this what are the three things it is an agreement in which the lender supplies it is an agreement between lender and the borrower and the lender supplies what all thing he can give as a loan it can be money it can give goods it can be services okay in return for the promise of future payment in return for the promise in the sense in future this should be returned with the interest okay that point they have not given but you can keep it that in your mind so here it's an agreement in which lender supplies a borrower with money goods and services in return for the promise of future payment whenever you are learning a definition or a, a meaning of one particular word i told you that split and loan okay so credit or loan refers to what an agreement in which lender supplies a borrower with what all things they are supplying with money goods or services in return for the promise of future payment now for what purpose the people they take a loan can anyone say why do we take loans for what purpose okay do one thing everyone write one point about this one purpose you just write i will i will ask you okay one purpose of taking loan any one purpose you can write it down i will be asking you just write it one purpose of taking loan one purpose of taking loan what is that i hope one easily you can write okay gauri can you tell any one purpose of taking loan and to satisfy our financial needs ah uh, that means that purpose only i am asking just any one purpose it it is not necessary that it is for you you think of any other person why do they want uh, money uh, or uh, why they why are they taking loan hmm Okay, I will go to another person. Navneet, can you? Ma'am, for education. Okay, so many people they take a loan for education. Good. Eva, do you know? Hmm. For business. For business. Okay, maybe for starting some business or investing on a uh, in a business we can start. Oh, uh, I mean we can take loan. Okay, Susan. for building a home okay home loan house loan you might have heard so some people they take loan for making houses there okay kartik i'm to build industrial things okay to start an industry it can be so there is one reason we can we need money for that so if you see like different people i asked here the loan needs of loans are different here i mean one person he, uh, he wants to construct a house one person uh, needs money for starting a business one person for uh, starting an industry like that different purpose for different purpose we are taking loan here okay so before that we'll just see the video once yes consider these two people they both want to take a loan so two situations uh, it has shown what are the two situation one person has taken loan for what dairy dairy okay another person took loan for poultry farm poultry okay now what happened with the person who took loan for dairy his business increased 
yes his business flourished and uh, he got a lot of profit because of that he was able to repay the money so it shows that credit has played a positive role or negative role positive what kind of role, role it is huh? positive. positive role but if you take the case of another person what happened there raya can you tell what happened Problem. What happened with the second person who took a loan for poultry farming? Because bird flu. Um, yeah. What is that? Bird flu. Yeah. Because of bird, he also. I mean, he was also doing a good business. But what happened during that time? Because of bird flu, you know, many of them, many of these uh, chickens, they uh, they were killed in that. I mean, because of this bird flu, they were died. They died. okay so that hap that uh, in that instance what happened he faced a lot of what happened to him no sir get a profit no uh, he is getting uh, he is facing losses here so he is thinking that taking a loan was very bad because now what happened my farm is closed down and what i should do i have to repay the money Where, whether he has any money to repay no okay so this is the two situations they have given here in one situation you can see that credit or loan is pay, playing a positive role and another uh, role if you see that is a negative role because he is facing lot of lo losses in the business here okay now going to the uh, this one is given in your textbook you can just read it out this one everyone just silently read otherwise you do one thing navneet can you read loudly this one ma'am ah yes ma'am yes, ma yes. ma'am it is a festival season two mm. months from now and the shoe manufacturer oh. salim has received an order for a large tailor in town for Three thousand pair of shoes, a uh, uh, pair of shoes to be delivered in a month month time to complete production on time. Salim Salim had to fire a few more workers for stitching and patching work. Pasting, he pasting. has a uh, pasting work. He has to purchase the raw material to meet its expense. Salim uh, obtained loans from two sources. First, he asked the uh, le leather leather uh, suppliers to uh, supply leather now and promised to pay him later. Second, he obtained loan in cash from the large tailors as from the large uh, trader as advance payment for. Thousand pairs of shoes with a promise to deliver the whole order by the end of the month. At the end of the month, Salim is able to deliver the order, making a good profit and replace uh, the money that he had borrowed. Okay, so here one example they have given in your textbook. Okay, it is about whom? Who is the person in this? Salim. Salim. Okay. What is his business? He is a shoe manufacturer. shoe manufacturer. Okay. Now, it is going to be a festive season, so some festivals are nearby. So, what happened? A large trader is giving an order to whom? To Salim. Okay. How many pairs of shoes he should make? Three thousand. Three thousand pairs of shoes should be made by Salim and given to should be given to whom to the trader. And there is a time limit they have given. What is the time limit? One month. One month. In a month's time, he should do that. Okay. Now to complete the production on time, Salim now he is not having uh, some workers with him. He may be having few workers only, so he should hire few more workers. Okay, for what purpose he is hiring Sri Ram? Sri Ram. For what purpose he is hiring? For. For. Sri Ram. Stitching, stitching and pasting. Okay, stitching and pasting. He should hire someone. 
at the same time it's not only that he should hire some workers he should spend more money okay noble on more uh, or more money he should spend on what he should spend on workers huh? he should spend on what he is uh, hiring few more workers for stitching and pasting then also that is not enough he should uh, spend more money that is on which on what he should spend money noble leather supplies hmm? he should purchase what the the raw material raw material so he need to spend now money on buying the raw materials also but salim is not having money with him so he is getting loan from two sources okay what are those two sources lakshmi can you tell lakshmi can you tell what are those two sources yeah from two sources salim is obtaining loans or salim is asking loan what are those two sources lakshmi Lakshmi, are you there? That is why I tell everyone on your video, whether you are there also, I I am not getting any idea. Yes, everyone, on your video. Ma'am, uh, yes. like what is that? It's not clear. Tell. Mom, uh, ah, huh. lag trader from the leather supplier. It is leather, okay. From the leather supplier, he is asking the leather now. He is asking. So I told you that whenever, uh, whenever we are getting a loan, it can be money, it can be goods, or it can be services. Okay, so he is not asking any money here, but he is asking a good goods. He is asking raw material. He is asking that leather should be supplied to him now. But when when is he going to pay? When when is he going to pay? Jesslyn, Jesslyn, Roshan, when is he going to pay? Is he going to pay now itself? Mom. No. So what, what one particular term is given? When is he going to pay? Mom. Yes. Yes, let me call. Wait, wait, one minute. Roshan, what is the particular term given? Roshan. Roshan left or what? Yes, no. Okay, when he's, you know, I can't hear Roshan, it's not connected. Connected properly and tell. Yes. Yes, Roshan, tell. Now I should come to your home to check your uh, connectivity, right? Before it was heard, now it's not hearing. First, connect it and tell. Unmute. Gautam, what about Gautam? Now those who, have, those who are keeping uh, your video off, I will ask them, that is better. Right? Huh? Rohan, do you know? Yes, Rohan. Yes, I told that he is taking loan from leather supplier. Okay. And he's taking now. And what is he telling about it? When he will, uh, when he will, uh, what he is promising? He will pay. He will pay. He will 
He will pay when? Now. Uh, he, will pay. he will pay him. At the month. Month. Later, later, later in the sense in the future. That is what he is telling. Okay. Now, next one is uh, related to second uh, uh, area from where he is getting the loan. Ashna, can you tell from where he is getting loan? Ashna. Ashna. From where he is getting loan? Those who are not talking, those who are not uh, responding, uh, either I will mark absent for them. Okay? Because you are sitting in front of this, how will I know? Delvin, can you tell? Delvin. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So from where he is obtaining a loan? I mean, one area we told that is he is getting uh, from the leather supplier. Second loan he is obtaining from where? Hmm? First one he is obtaining from the leather supplier. Second one he is obtaining the cash from where? Do you know? Yes or no? Fast. No. No. You can you see the screen? Yes. Me. Yes. In that, can you read it out? Second, he obtains loan from where? Large trader. From the large trader. Who is this large trader? Shania. Shania, who is this large trader? Hmm. Who is that large trader? Shania, do you know? I'm the one. Uh... Hmm? The, trader, the trader given the order to Yeah, the trader himself have given the order. But what happens? Salim is not having money. So this large, he is asking from the large trader that you give some advance payment. So when you take the shoe, there is no need to pay that much amount of money. Remaining only you pay. Like that, he is taking loan from this large trader. Okay. And what he is telling that he will deliver 1000 pairs of shoes. He will be given at the end of the month. So here, taking loans from two areas, which are they, Sean? Sean, what are the two areas from where they take the loan? From he took the loan. Yes. Sean, once more, fast. Leather supplier. From the leather supplier and one more person. Who is that? And Large trader. Large trader. Okay. Then you can see that at the end of the month, he is able to deliver the order. He is making a good profit. That is to be taken uh, note that he is getting a good profit and he repay the money that he had borrowed. So in this case, what kind of uh, role we can see uh, for the credit noble? What role the credit plays here? Noble. Is it a negative role? Noble. Yes. Is it a negative role or a positive role? A positive role. Because why do you say that? Um, because he makes a good profit hmm. and he can repay the money. Hmm. And he is getting a good? Profit. Profit also. Because of this reason, we say that in this particular point, they are, credit is playing a positive role. Okay. Now, just one minute. Life. If you need money on credit, where would you get it from? Do you want to share the screen? 
I have given that. Yes. yes. Yes, you can. After this, I will call Ashik, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ashlam, any problem? <coughs> okay. Alam can start. Ma'am, can you hear me? I can hear you, but uh, the screen is different what you're showing. Yes, now we can see. Good morning to one and all present here. My name is Ahlam Fatima and I'm here to present a seminar on topic sectors of Indian economy. Sectors of Indian economy on the basis of nature of economic activities, it is divided into primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. On the basis of employment condition, it is divided into organized sector, unorganized sector. On the basis of ownership, public sector, private sector, and joint sector. Primary sector includes mainly agricultural, forest, fishing, mining, farming, and other allied activities. Se secondary sector activities mainly include manufacturing, construction, electric uh, construction, electricity, gas, and water, etc. Tertiary sector services include trade, transport, banking, finance, in uh, banking and finance, insurance, real estate, public administration, defense, etc. In features of organized sector, the sector is, the sector is registered by the government. The term of employment are regular. Workers get monthly salary. Workers uh, workers get benefit like pro, uh, provident fund paid leave and medical benefits. Working hours are fixed here. Main. <clears throat> main features of unorganized sector. There is no job security. There is not no regular job. When there is less workload, then the workers are asked to leave the job without any reason. There are laws in the sectors, but not followed. Workers are not provided daily wages. How to protect workers in unorganized sector? Government can frame the new laws which can provide provision of overtime paid leave due to sickness, setting up small scale industry industries in semi-rural areas. Government can provide cheap loan to, to the self-employed people. Government can fix the minimum wages rate and working house. Okay. <clears throat> so here, I felt I told you people uh, it's not it should not be reading like that some some sort of explanation you can give by yourself the same sentence you put it in another words and uh, say try to say like that because then only you can we can develop okay you are not uh, we, uh, we cannot see you the video is not shown so at least you can think of uh, telling something in your own words that will be helpful for you in the future also. Okay, do that. Why you people are hesitating? This is one chance you are getting. Utilize it. At least try. At least when you are telling, uh, uh, at least one or two paragraph you say. Okay, other paragraph you leave it. Some points you leave it. Try to develop that. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you later on. It's, is it that you are going to read all the time like this? Huh? Don't do that. <clears throat> 
others also i am telling okay when you are doing something you whatever you are going to speak you write it down and see that but it should be like in a uh, speech method not the reading method okay next person first ma'am yes In basis of ownership, the sectors are classified into public wait, and wait, private. Wait, 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 wait. No, uh, PPT. No, ma'am. Why? See, if you have difficulty in uh, uh, showing through the uh, through your phone, you know that uh, some the students are attending through laptop or your friends. You can tell them to share the PPT, and you can speak. There is no problem in that. okay so you make the ppt and you uh, send it to them they will show that and uh, you can speak if you have any problem like that because we are uh, giving marks for that that's what we are uh, why i am insisting for ppt okay see there are marks for just listen there are marks for uh, punctuality also so when i ask if you are not there how can i give marks presentation how you are presenting there are marks so if you are not taking care all these things see you know that all these internal marks are going to be added now this year method is different you know yes you might have seen that mcq questions will be asked in the beginning there also internal assessment will be there so i don't want you people to lose mark okay Hmm. See, uh, we didn't start with uh, 10B, right? No, I didn't make PPT because there is no laptop. Hmm. Or some, tell your friend. There is no problem. You some some of your friend can help. Okay, those who have, tell them to make whichever whatever you want me uh, to do them uh, to uh, make. You can just send it to them or type to one. You can send it to them. Then uh, they can uh, make that right. it should uh, at least one or two slides okay that is enough then yes, wait wait 10b uh, first group leader ma'am susan right what about you in your group uh, i have uh, i have ready i don't know about my group uh, members Why? they have not replied they have not replied okay just call first person aaron Aaron, present or not? Absent. Magna, are you ready? I saw her. Magna. Man, she is not there. I saw her before. She left. Alicia, absent. Anuj. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Then uh, Susan, you are there, right? Yes. Then yes, Ashna is there. Yes, ma'am. Ashna is there. Ashna, where is she? I saw her. Ashna. Godwin, Godwin is there in yours? No, ma'am. No. So till there. Do one thing, Susan. Do you have the numbers of all these students? Yes, ma'am. Can you send it to me? Yes, ma'am. Not now. Afterwards. So I will call them personally. Okay. Okay then. Uh, where is uh, Ashik? Shall we do in the next class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just uh, one or two. That is enough. Uh, not all the material. At least one or two. Okay, tell your friend or someone to help it out. Okay, they, let them present or let them show the uh, share the screen and you can speak. Okay, okay then. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, now, yeah, you can start now. Who comes in first? Anuj, right? Anuj, you can. Anuj, ma'am. Yeah, you can start. Ma'am, I 
organized sector and unorganized sector organized sector organized sector is a sector where employment terms are fixed and regular and the employment get assured work in organized sector employees will get medical and several another benefits example government employees registered industrial workers etc sector which is registered by the government is called organized sector unorganized sector unorganized sector is one where the employment terms are not fixed and regular in unorganized sector no benefits are available for the workers example farming domestic workers etc sector which is not registered and not fixed terms of employment is called organized sector unorganized sector organized sector is better than unorganized sector organized sector is better than unorganized sector because workers in organized sector can enjoy security and security of employment and get several benefits how government can protect unorganized sector the government can fix minimum wages government can enact new laws on overtime and salary range provide cheap loan with low interest open small scale industry thank you i can see only reading from your part no one is ready to explain anything susan start ma'am uh, if i share the screen sometimes ah. maybe my video will be off ah that's okay that's okay fine Mm. Elena is present. Just tell you can continue. Elena, is she present? Just check. Absent, right? Isha. Yes, ma'am. Eva, present. Yes, ma Shifana. Uh, Susan, you can continue. Okay. Shifana, present mm. or absent? Fizan. Man, he is having a tooth issue. That's why he is not. Okay, Krishna. Krishna. Absent. Maria. Meghna. Present, ma'am. Maria is also absent. Mohammad Nihal. Nazil. Nabil, Abzan, Navneet, Prasam, Nazrin, Absent, Noble, Rachel, George, Rachel, Bobbin, Raya, Rohan, Prasam, Roland. Present, ma'am. Roshan. Shweta. Shweta. Vishnu. Present, ma'am. Okay. The other class I have taken. Okay. The other ma class. Hmm? Evening call, plus zero. What is it? Plus zero percent. Name. Which class? Say B or C? B. See some names I didn't call because I have already marked. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Plus two marked. Yes, Susan. It's Good time. morning, Joel. So hmm. I am going to take the seminar on the topic, raising importance of tertiary sector in production. Hmm. Hmm. The following factors are making the tertiary sector important in India: basic services. Ma'am. Hmm. Ma yeah. God is present. Godwin is present. Yeah, I know. in any country several services such as hospital education institution post and telecom service police stations 
courts, village administrations, office, municipal corporations, different transport banks, and insurance companies are required. This can be considered as basic services. Uh, this example, which I have shown, is included in basic services. Um, development of primary, primary and secondary sector. The development of agriculture and industry leads to the development of uh, services such as transport, trade, and storage. The greater the development of primary and secondary sector, Rise in income levels. As income level raise, certain uh, sections of people start demanding many more services like eating out, tourism, shopping, private hospitals, private schools, and professional training centers. We can see this change sharply in cities, especially in big cities. So as uh, the uh, development increases, people start demanding more um, rising in information technology. Okay. Over the past decade or so certain new services, such as those who based on information and communication technology have become important and essential. The prevention of these services have been rising rapidly. So the uh, information technology had uh, rising uh, rapidly um, in this uh, present situation. Globalization. Due to globalization, people have become aware of new services and activities and communication because which is the sectors gain importance. Thank you. Okay, then. Okay, then it's time. You all can leave. I have uh, marked your uh, attendance, okay? Okay, bye. Next class, whoever is to be done, you have to be ready, okay? Thank you.